Set centrifuge temperature so it does not dip below 4 degrees. At or below 4 degrees, your wash buffer becomes more viscous, which prevents the proper palleting. If you notice your centrifuge is dipping below 4 degrees, indicated by ice buildup, increase your temperature setting by a few degrees. Make sure your rotor settings are properly set up on the screen, matches the uh, rotor number here. And make sure your centrifuge speed is set to 400 RCF for five minutes at four degrees. Make sure to check throughout the day that another lap mate doesn't change the rotor setting. So you actually spin at 400 RCF and um, you get good pellets. After each spin, it's a good practice to check the pellet in the plates. You can hold your pellet plate up to the light and look from underneath to check the pellets. It's important to keep your plate flat while you are checking the pellets. Maintaining sufficient cell quantities throughout your four washes is critical for optimal assay performance. Loss of more than 70% of your cells during sample preparation may reduce assay performance. In that case, please contact support at nanospring.com before proceeding. If your pellets are visible after the last wash step, there is no need to recount the cells as PBS will dilute RLT and will result in improper lysis.